So hello everyone, my name is Deepti Wali and I'm a communication coach. I conduct programs for kids and teens. And I have a student called Swasti Arora, who's been a part of the Learning and Fun Hub. She's been attending the public speaking program and the creative writing program. Um, and uh, I'm here to interview her. So welcome, um, Swasti. Viewers really want to know a lot about you. So should we get started? Yeah, sure. Great. So would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, as you might be knowing, I'm Swasti. I'm 10 years old. I was born on the 4th of January in the year 2012. This year, I'm talking as of 22, 2022. I will be going to grade six. I am currently studying in Ribgurhai, Magarpatta. I enjoy swimming, dancing, reading, and most importantly, public speaking as a hobby. Okay, so you've already talked about your likes in your introduction. So let me quickly move on to the dislikes. What is it that you dislike? What is it that you I dislike when people just listen to a person without thinking about what are the talk without thinking about what the other person wants them to do just when they fall into the trap i don't like getting bullied like most of the people on earth and i don't like having broccoli okay all right um so are you ready for the rapid fire question Yep. Okay. Do you know what rapid fire questions are? Do you know how they have to be answered? Yeah, the questions you ask, you just gotta answer them in front too. Okay, and quickly, rapidly. Yeah. So yeah. Let's begin with your first question. Your first question is: If you had friends all over the world, you manage to be in touch with them. Well, that would be very weird. But if I were to manage to keep in touch with them, I would actually, in all the days of the week, I'd call like a few friends, like a particular set of friends each day. So I'd keep in touch with them, the ones who aren't keeping in touch with me, the ones who don't want to keep in touch with me, even I won't keep in touch with them. All right, sounds good. Um, we move on to your second rapid fire question. What is it that makes you energized? Uh, can you repeat it? What makes you energized? What energizes you? So, what energizes me is swimming. I also get energized when I do some artwork, when I paint. I also like dancing. It helps me get energized. And also it helps me make use of my time. I particularly love making dance choreographies. Fantastic. So let me tell our viewers that Swasti is a very creative student and she loves art and craft. She loves painting and of course she loves dancing too. Move on to the third question, which is what are the three things that you would do during your summer vacation? On. Okay, so yeah, my summer vacations are going on. And three things. Firstly, I would like to make many dance choreographies in my summer vacations because I just like to explain express what I feel inside through the world of dance. I would like to paint and discover new styles of painting. In fact, I just made a painting today. And then I would like to swim in these summer vacations because uh, I want to grow my height and I want to be fit. And also it's very hot in Pune this year. And I would love to swim and enjoy myself. 
Fantastic. Um, now, other than the public speaking class, Sustain are also a part of the creative writing program. So I really want to know if you were given an opportunity to write a book, then um, what would the book be all about? Uh, well, if I were given the opportunity to write a book, my book would be all about moral values for kids. It would have different series because I personally love books which have series. I love series of books. Like, I don't feel like ending that book at that particular moment. I want to read more about that person. So that the book based on moral values for kids would be about a girl called Anna, the mistakes she makes, what she learns about them. And there would be series of them. And I am inspired to write this because of the Naughtiest Girl series by Enid Blyton. Okay, lovely. Um, my last question is, one thing that uh, you would, uh, you know, recommend to change the uh, school education system for the better? Okay. So, one thing that I would recommend is that other than physical fitness and mental fitness, the schools should also focus on mindfulness. But I have seen that there are many less schools which focus on mindfulness, as in skills on how to control your anger and things like if you have a lot on your schedule, how do you manage? You know, creative ways like mindful chat, gratitude chat, things like that. Yeah, that should be taken ahead in schools. Okay, fantastic. I think, uh, you know, with that, um, uh, we come to an end of today's video. And we loved, I uh, personally loved conversing with you. Let me tell our, all our viewers that Swasti has been a part of the public speaking program, the creative writing program, and the mindfulness program. So all the best to you, Swasti, and uh, looking forward to interacting a lot more with you. Bye. Bye-bye.